Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today we're going to be checking out the King Molin. This is the S model. It is the S500. It's the OBD2 scanner. We're going to open this up. We're going to go over a couple things. Um, it's impossible to go over everything this thing does in one video, but we're going to open this up. Um, it does need to be updated, which by the way, as long as you own this tool, if there's any updates, it, you can update it for free. That's a good thing. So, we're going to cue the intro. I'm going to turn you down here. Let's open it up. Let's see what's in the box. And we'll go from there. Okay, so now that I got you down here, let's open this box up. We're going to see what it comes with. And we're going to update this thing. They say, you know, you should update it before you use it, just in case any updates have been available since this has been boxed up from the manufacturer. This has a uh, 4.3 out of 5 star rating from 165 global ratings, so that's pretty impressive. There it is right there. There's your port that you're going to plug your OBD2 wire into, cable into. And here's your book. Tells you everything about it, what to use. is your USB-C connector and this of course is for your OBD2 port on your vehicle. The book comes in multiple different languages so that's good. We're going to be using English. Um, I've read through some of this seems pretty straightforward this also has real-time monitoring on it it has if your vehicle is equipped with reset modes you can reset different uh, items on your vehicle um, this is rechargeable that's what the uh, cords for so let's turn this on Got a welcome screen. Very nice. That's easy to read. Um, you can read codes, erase codes. You got data stream. It. Uh, also, you can view a freeze frame. You can take pictures with this thing to print out for, like, for your uh, for your customer, in case they want to see what codes they've got or what you came up with on this. Um, O2 sensor test, onboard monitor test, EVAP system test. Uh, it does a lot of things. So, let's see. There's English. Right, we're going to hit next. The battery is at 100%. Let's do our time zone. Next. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and connect this to my internet. And then I'll be right back with you. Okay, it connected very, very quickly. So... I'm going to navigate through the system here and we're going to get to 
the uh, update screen and then we're going to update this before we try it out on anything so it came up to this screen automatically new version found and I'm going to go ahead and update it I'll be back with you the system software okay well that uh, that was pretty quick so this is updated um, but there's your OBD, which is your onboard diagnostic. You got your diagnostics, um, maintenance, file, settings, repair info, and update. So when we're going to try this out on the Chevy, and then I might try it out on the Nissan. We'll see because I've got to charge the battery up on the Nissan. You always want to have a full charge battery in your vehicle when you're using one of these. Even the cheap ones. You always want to make sure you have a good battery. Okay, so I just plugged this in. The key is off. Now you can do this with your key on or with the car running. And on here, there is an SD card slot. So you can save your files on the SD card. So we're going to let this boot up. Alright. Now, battery voltage is reading 11.8 volts. Let's turn the key on. Let's go to... Now there's no codes that I'm aware of. There's no check engine light but we're going to uh, we're going to check anyway we're going to hit the obd okay there's the vin number so it and that is correct so it did pick up this vehicle and so let's enter that We got readiness mode. There's the live data. Um, we can read the uh, freeze frame, read fault codes, clear fault code. Let's read the fault codes. No fault codes. So, all right. Now let's start this up. All right. So with it running, it is reading 14.3 volts between 14 and 14.3 um, let's read the live data um, let's see what we can throttle position B let's read that read live data okay That's giving me my throttle position. And if I rev it up, it is reading where my throttle position is. And it's going back down. Okay, so let's take that back. Accelerator pedal position. Let's read that. We'll hit OK. It's at 19%. That's about a fourth of the way down. There we go. Okay, so that's reading good. I'm just trying to see if it's going to bring up anything that, you know, I am, I am not aware of. Uh, standard range. Everything's looking good so far. So, let's go. Um, like, let's see here. Vehicle speed sensor, short term fuel. Let's um let's read the oxygen sensor output voltage, which should be okay. And it is reading good. Now if I want to, I can screenshot that and that's stored in my album. So, let's go back, and 
let's go home yes we'll go to diagnostics and it has all this stuff you can go into history OBD you've got your auto search it's got a demo mode this also has a learning it will teach you how to use this tool let's go to Chevrolet and it should be connecting talking to the computer of the car and we're going to take this over to the Nissan too and we're going to uh, I haven't drove it and we cleared the codes in it but we're going to see if there's anything that can come up on it automatically search we're going to read the VIN okay we've already done that that is it that brought up all the information on this vehicle everything's right including the VIN and it is all wheel drive which is four wheel drive on this one and it's searching there it is we're automatic okay there we got health report let's do the health report and it's reading the health right now it's reading the ECM transmission control module I see a couple numbers there processing it let's enter the transmission control module read fault code okay it's got a couple fault codes here transmission fluid pressure switch four circuit low voltage last test passed this ignition passed since clear passed and failed so very good we're just going to go ahead and clear that so like if I want I can take a picture of that and there it is it's stored so there's nothing there really that needs to be cleared let's go back um let's read the data stream again torque converter data of course i'm not driving but engine coolant temperature let's see what it's reading here 199 degrees and it is reading 199 degrees on the dashboard on the gauge so let's go back um, go back into this let's take this off gear ratio let's see what it says about our gear ratio eight to one is our gear ratio in this vehicle so I'm not bringing up any issues that need to be addressed at the moment you can also go into uh, different things supplemental inflatable restraint that is your um, your airbags fuel pump control module all this stuff is passing um, let's do Let's do that and see what's going on with it. Let's read default codes. We'll do the display. Again, it's communicating with the vehicle. Passenger seat belt anchor. Potentioner deployment loop restraint above threshold. Uh, it's not plugged in. So, or the... Uh, seat belts not you know plugged in the restraint on the airbags I do get a light on here once in a while that says they need to be serviced and there it's telling me so all the airbags 
they need to be serviced which the light is not on but it is giving me the information I need to know so that's pretty good let's go home we'll get out of this um, you got Cadillac you got I, I mean it's amazing what this little thing um, let's go to history Chevrolet and let's see what the history is all about here automatic search and it's just going to bring us back into where we was that's exactly what this thing is this is amazing so I'm not really finding anything that needs my attention right now I do know it does have a tire monitor um, that does need to be replaced so let's let's just go back out of here okay. and yeah that's there we go we've got maintenance we've got repair info we've already updated there's files quick entry and it should tell us what we just looked at now this is not going to read every vehicle guys uh, the Actron will not read every vehicle automatic there's our system selection engine control module transmissions got all that so um, I'm not I'm still not seeing any issues that need to be addressed at the moment so very nice PDF it's empty, other, empty. Cool. There's a report. So that's what we that's what we have. Let's get back out of this. Very nice setup for the money. There will be a link in the description box for this. Um, right now, let's go over to the uh, Nissan and let's see. I know there's no codes because we cleared them and I haven't driven it so there shouldn't be any maybe once we start it up there will be some but we'll find out I'm gonna power this off and it's powering down so let's go over to the Nissan okay we're in the Nissan let's go ahead and turn the key on Now, let's go ahead, I'm going to hit Diagnostics, OBD, again it's got to do all the connecting, I have, if, if you haven't noticed I've been speeding this up a little bit, okay so we've got some failed stuff here, pretty much all of it has failed. So, okay, let's go ahead and start this up. All right. Let's go to ECU mode. Still reading. This is ready. Let's go to the misfire. We're going to go to Nissan. We have a knock sensor. I think that's the code we had before, if I remember right. Um, this is the code that we had before on, on this vehicle. So, which is a knock sensor, vibration sensor, number one circuit bank one, or single sensor. I'm going to hit this. Um, so it did pick up the same exact code that the Actron did. Now it's giving me this code and the light's not on. So it is reading. Oh, look. It automatically came up telling me what that's about. I'm on to Google. It automatically brought it up. That is cool. So let's do... Let's see if it'll pick up live data. Um, let's do the uh, throttle position. Hit OK. There it 
it is. It's only going to 84% because it will not run wide open because this does have a built-in rev limiter. So let's go back and take that off. Ignition timing. Let's check this out. 30 degrees before top dead center. I'm not sure exactly if that's right on these Nissans. But we're going to go back. Engine coolant temperature. It shouldn't read much because we just started it up. hundred and twenty seven degrees so the truck is running pretty good other than that knock knock sensor code um, let's do engine rpm there we go and it's reading between 900 and a thousand which is exactly what the tachometer on the dash is reading now it went down to uh, eight degrees nine degrees before top dead center because it came off a high idle and as you can see as we rev it up oh, that's pretty cool yeah i didn't know that it actually went to um Uh, I want to check something here. Let's get out of that. Let's do uh, intake manifold absolute pressure. And let's see what's going on with it. It's reading perfect. Well, not perfect, but I mean it's right on the money where, where it should be. Let's do the oxygen sensor output voltage, which I'm sure it's okay. And it is. So that's reading good. I know that's what that's supposed to be. Vehicle speed sensor. Now we're not moving, so I'm not. Whoops. Okay, there it is. Um, vehicle speed sensor, we're not moving, so it's reading zero. Awesome. This thing is very cool. Just for fun, let's clear this. Emissions. Okay. Very nice. I like that. That is very cool. All right, so yeah, um, let's turn the air on. It's there we go. Pretty warm in here. So got American, European, Asian. It's got all different kind of settings you can set this thing up to. Um, there's repair info. There's a full code library here if you want to store stuff in there and you want to come back to this vehicle later you can do that uh, there's learning you hit learning it tells you how how to use this it and it also charges through this while you're using this tool it also charges through that through your OBD so Again, that was from our Chevy so yeah that's pretty cool uh, I'm gonna go back in where it's a little bit cooler and I'll give you my final thoughts on this so far you know you got your maintenance bleed injectors um, again it's talking to the computer So this will read anything, well, 
most vehicles from 96 up to now with the OBD2. Now there are some vehicles um, that will go 94, 95. And if your vehicle is equipped with one of the newer at the time in 94, 95 with the OBD2, this will read it. But it is still reading codes. You know, it read the code, the check engine code, and the light's not on. So, you know, you could have hidden hidden problems with your vehicle. So let's go ahead and speed this up. So this is, um, resets is what this is. Like right now I'm on oil maintenance reset. So if you have a light that tells you when to change your oil, which I know this vehicle does not, um, you can reset that with, with this tool. So uh, I'm very excited to, to have this in my arsenal of stuff to to check with our vehicle so uh, yeah it even actually like right now if I would plug my Actron scanner my pocket scanner in here it would read no codes because we had cleared them out but the lights not on so it would read no codes this is still reading a code that's in there even though the lights not on I like that because that way you can find out if there's a, a hidden issue that you don't know about so Let's go back in the house where it's a little cooler, and we'll finish up this video. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm, I'm going to read these codes again because this was idling up and down when I had the air on. So, let's see if it brings up another coat. And there it is. It's a P0505, I think. Yeah, idle control system. And let's see... I mean that's pretty fast and it's telling me about it um, I do know it it does need cleaned and adjusted this remember guys this truck is set for 10 years so you know the more you run it the more codes that, that, that can come up so there we go so the code may be accompanied by erratic idle speeds which I do have when the air conditioner is on it does idle up and down So, and it can lead to stalling and other issues. Now, when the air conditioner is on, and let's say you're doing 30 miles an hour and you hit the brakes real hard, sometimes it will stall. But it won't do it with the air conditioner off. So, yeah, uh, on most older vehicles, which this is a 2000, so it's an older vehicle, uh, the idle control system relies on an idle air control valve which is IAC on or near the throttle body and yes yeah, so that's awesome let's um let's clear that code out we're going to clear the fault codes okay it has been cleared now let's read it again and see if it see if it cleared it since it's not running it should have cleared it Go to Nissan. No fault code. There we go. All right, that's that's amazing because uh, the Actron pocket scanner I have will not do that. So, all right, guys, we'll shut this off. We'll shut this down. Okay. Um, and uh, let's go in the house. I'll give you my final thoughts on this. Okay, guys, there you have it. It started raining. <laughs> um, just as I opened the door of the truck. So, yeah, the company sent this to me, and I really appreciate it. So far, it seems to do, well, it does a lot more than I thought it would. But, you know, the last one we tried out, you know, it wouldn't even read the codes on that Nissan. And I knew there was a code because it, um, check engine light was on. It said no codes, but yet it erased them. You can't rely on something like this. This, I think, is pretty reliable because uh, it told me, you know, something that was wrong with the Nissan, the sporadic idle, uh, the 505 code, I believe it was. 
that the check engine light's still not on, but it read it. So it knew something was wrong as soon as I turned the air conditioner on. So I could probably just clean that. You know, it's been sent in 10 years and that would probably take care of that. So um, you can get into some vehicles, you can get into the transmission and, and check transmission codes and all that, which the pocket scanner is not gonna do. But so, yeah, so far two thumbs up. Uh, again, thanks you know to the company for sending this to me. I appreciate it. And link for this uh, product will be in the description box below. Now they have different different models of these. Um, like uh, this is the S500. They have the S800 uh, that can do a lot more than what this can do. But what I like about it is it's free upgrade anytime. Anytime there's an update or upgrade available you can download it also I did not know it you know it'll automatically go to Google and tell you hey look <laughs> there's what you need to look for so anyway guys thanks for watching I appreciate it Shea Bear the myth the main legend I'm gone for now we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye everyone take care have a great weekend and stay safe